well we are in the home stretch it's one week from processing and we're gonna test out the fly ranch uh, we're gonna test that product out because it's also fly season and if you've got animals you may be dealing with the same issues we are so moving the chicks to their final straightaway and we're also trying to get rid of these flies okay so we are gonna weigh our chickens we're trying to figure out if our processing date it needs to be extended or not. So we're gonna weigh them. I know. Okay, okay. you're all right. Gotta just gonna, set it down. Yep, we're just gonna weigh you. Take you to the doctor. Yeah, it's like a newborn baby weight. Well. Right at five pounds. Yeah, a little less. Be, so we just use a little fish scale to weigh them and a reusable grocery bag. That's always nice because those are pretty light. You just catch one, set it in the bag and <laughs> weigh it. Well, we're out here on a beautiful morning. We are exactly one week away from processing our chickens. And I will tell you, I think we have seen tremendous growth where before they were a lot smaller. We are moving them twice a day now. It used to just be once a day on grass, but I, I just feel like ever since we moved them twice a day, they're eating more. Uh, it could just be a coincidence, but let me know if you've had the same results, but I think this may be the key to unlocking their growth even more. And you can see they're all starting to get bigger. Even the smaller ones that were having a little bit of yellow. So I think we're going to be in good shape. There might just be a few over here in this one that still need to grow a lot longer. And as I'm filling up the water, another thing that we do is we put apple cider vinegar in their waters every time we water and we add grit. Uh, we do the smaller starter grit and we put that in their feed every single time. So those two things. Well, we're going to jump on the mower real quick. Uh, as much as the chickens like to eat grass, um, if it's too high, uh, they have trouble getting around and it, it's really just not easy to move the tractors around. So we're going to go mow that patch that we're getting ready to move them to and uh, just to keep it nice and maintained. And Landon has a lovely job of cleaning out the chicken brooders. Over the ground. 
Well, and this is the first device we're using by the Fly Hunter. It's kind of gross, but uh, just set it near the garden and also near the chicken coop. And we're gonna let that combat all the flies. There's a couple already in it, which is gross, but it's in proximity to the garden, which is coming along great. We already got our first zucchini. And as we pan around to the chick shawl 4.6, it's uh, near that as well. So we got the chickens on this hill. We put all the chicken poop shavings from the brooder in our compost bin, just gonna let it do its thing. And we got our garden going good. And I know it's hard to tell on the hill, but we have reunited Buzz with the flock. We had an issue with Nemo. He was being pretty aggressive with the hens and a lot of disruption going on. So we got rid of him. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes when you've got farm animals, uh, chickens especially. It's easier just to just go ahead and put them down. But I will tell you, ever since we put Buzz back with his ladies, it has been very peaceful the hens seem more content uh buzz is such a good rooster that's why we never got rid of them even when there was a change of the guard they're down here on this hillside and he's just a sweet rooster he protects them he does a good job he's not selfish and he doesn't try to attack anybody or any of the hens well you got me in halfway through this job we mix, uh, I don't know if you can see it, we do a third of black sunflower seed, we do a third premium cracked corn, and we do our layer pellets. The bag is upside down, but you used to get this from Rural King. So we just mix a third, a third, and a third, and then we stir it all together. And there's our other fly catcher. This one's down in the middle of it. It is getting the full brunt of the work. So we're trying to keep the flies away. It's a never ending battle, but those things help. We got those at the fly ranch. Well, as you can see, we're in the final stretch, topping things off. Um, the countdown is on Saturday is when we process them and we've got them running through the grass. Uh, they've been so much better since we've moved them twice a day. Uh, but the countdown is, is coming soon, Saturday. Today is Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. But um, we've got a few that are in the small tractor and we already made a video about that not too long ago. And they still need a few more weeks so we have the, the plucker and the scalder. We're gonna get all that squared away and get everything set up uh, Friday night and then Saturday, nice and early. We've got a bunch of friends coming out to help us get everything processed and that'll speed things up. Uh, we also offer our pasture raised chicken. Uh, it is gonna be fresh that Saturday. So once we start the processing of them, 
people will be able to sign up online. So you can go to our Facebook page at Flat Gap Farm. You can also go to our website, flatgapfarm.com. Uh, you can message us on Instagram. So we are easily reachable. If you are in the Burke County area of Western North Carolina, and you would like some pasture raised, fresh, never frozen poultry, it'll be ready Saturday. We'll have whole birds and then we'll have it all pieced up into breasts and things like that. If you want it on Saturday, but you gotta sign up, go to our Facebook page. There's a link for you to sign up there. Uh, we also have available free classes. Uh, we're gonna do a workshop that morning. If you wanna learn how to do that and come out and we'll teach you and you also get to walk away with a free chicken. So that's a pretty good deal. It's free, it's a workshop, but you need to sign up for it ahead of time just so we can know who to prepare for. But we're in the home stretch, uh, counting the days down and getting ready to fill up our freezers with pasture raised chicken. And uh, it's gonna be real interesting when we're done, like my wife said a while ago, to be able to see the grass down here. This used to be our garden. This used to be the other garden. This is where we kept the chickens. Uh, so we, we've done a lot of developing down here. So it's gonna be really neat to see the, the natural fertilizer we have that is from the chickens. But appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, we're gonna video this on Friday and Saturday, kind of the setup and going through the process that we do to get ready. And we'll catch that video next time. So make sure you tune in, you're subscribing. You can also hit that bell notification and uh, find out when we post things. So we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. That's right. You tell them. <laughs>